Hey guys, Janelle Pika here from JanellePika.com, strong personal to be kept on instructor and a precision nutrition level one coach. Okay, on the last video we were talking about a stretch called the dead hang um, to kind of um, decompress your spine and get you um, totally relaxed and elongated for serious pull work um, and how that kind of carries over with uh, some basic grip strength. Now we're going to go into something more intermediate, um, which is the flex arm hang. I'm going to show you two ways that you can do that. Um, if a, uh, to uh, practice your overall pull strength and why that's so important, okay? So I, you'll notice I have a stool here, okay? So if you do not have enough strength to actually chin yourself above the bar, and I'll show you guys that after this. Um, if you do not have enough strength to actually do a chin up, um, use, a, use a box or a stool that you have here to get yourself above the bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step up on this thing. Um, flex arm hangs normally have an under grip. Um, grip to get you guys above the bar. When you get more advanced, you can actually do overhand hangs. Um, I don't recommend that to, to start out with um, training your lats and stuff like that, so I do recommend going underhand here. What you'll do is you'll then elevate yourself above the bar, getting into your hollow hold, crossing your legs, pushing your butt cheeks together, and tensing everything that you can from your core down to hold this position, okay? You should be able to pull backwards with your arms here to actually engage everything that you have in your lats and to keep yourself stable. So you're working all of your lat muscles in your back, core, and um, upper body strength with your arms here, okay? So um, the recommendation on that is to start with three rounds, um, 10 seconds a piece on, on your hands, working up to 20 seconds, um, resting in between. For those of you that are more advanced and you want to do a little strength move, before you get to your hands, you can actually do a chin up, Okay, which is below the bar, chinning yourself up and then holding yourself in this position for a period of 10, 15, 20 seconds over the course of time, okay? Um, so that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always email me at Janelle at JanellePika.com. Uh, and remember, this um, upcoming Thursday, because it's been a very long time since we got to do this, I will be launching our basic beginner pull-up program. So for those of you that remember me a few years ago from powerful pressing and you were unable to do chin-ups or pull-ups, this is a very uh, program that can actually help you learn pull-ups from the ground up from mastering rep after rep or just getting your first one, okay? Very, very basic, very, very simple, um, and I'm excited to actually get that out for you. It's the, it's the month of the pull-up, folks. April's going to be fun, all right? That's all I have for you today, uh, and we'll see you uh, next time on the blog. Take care, guys.